Memories of Candor Central School is dedicated to all those who have fond memories of attending school in Candor. This video shows the growth of the facilities from the initial old academy to the present Central School. In the early 1860s, Candor felt the need of an important and worthy institution of learning. By 1864, the old Candor Free Academy was built on the site of the present high school building. The original building was composed of brick with gray trimmings. It contained four large rooms, two rooms on the ground floor for the lower grades and two upper rooms for the higher grades. The first principal was Dennison, who also taught the higher subjects. The entire teaching staff of Candor Academy consisted of six people. Later, a wooden annex was added, which contained the fifth and sixth grades. Candor Free Academy burned March 31st, 1909, during Easter vacation. The fire was discovered a little before midnight, and smoke was seen pouring out of the upper story windows. No remains of the school bell were found in the rooms. It's been assumed that it had been removed before the fire started. High school was held in the town hall and grade school in Walter Elmendorf's house for the remainder of that year. To build a new building, a $20,000 bond issue was floated by the bank at the rate of $1,000 a year with interest. In 1910, the new schoolhouse was opened. Again, the new building was made entirely of brick, but was set back farther from the original academy, and the school's own library was established during that first year. By 1936, there were 20 rural schools scattered around the township of Candor. These maps show the locations of these schools. Although we don't have pictures of all of them, we do have a few that might bring back some memories. Missing schools are Lovely Vale, Cass Hill, Germany Hill, Cranes Nest, and Lounsbury. Catatonk, District 1, is located on Route 96 south of Owego and is still standing. Gridleyville, District 3, is located on the Gridleyville Crossroads and is still standing. Wilseyville, District 6, is located off 96B in Wilseyville and is still standing. Upper Fairfield, District 7, was located at the end of Lakebrook Hill Road. Lower Prospect Valley, District 8, was located to the right just before Vanderpool Road. Lounsbury, District 10, was located at the end of Race Road. Anderson Hill, District 11, was located on the left just after the turn off to Lord Road. Straits Corner, District 12, was located on the right just before Tholen Road. Hubbard Town, District 14, is located at the foot of Howard Hill Road and is still standing. Lower Fairfield, District 17, was located past Newman Road on the right. Union Hill, District 18, was located off Union Hill on the left, just off of Reservoir Hill Road. Upper Prospect Valley, District 20, was located past Bush Road on the left. Drybrook Road, District 21, is located about a mile and a half up Drybrook Road on the right and is still standing. West Candor, District 22, is located on the Candor Spencer Road, Route 96, past Straits Corner Road on the right and is still standing. And of course, Candor High School, which was District 9. In May 1938, nine rural districts voted to close their schools in contract with Candor High School. In October, a federal grant of $75,000 was offered to start action for a centralized district and a new facility. When the town vote was counted, 418 people voted. 320 were in favor of centralization. The first class in the new Candor Central High School was held in 1939. Since there have been various additions to the building, in 1949, the northeast wing was added, giving a new block of classrooms. 
A current photo shows the present industrial arts room converted after 1962 that was originally built in 1949 as the bus garage. Also during that time the new gymnasium was built. This photo shows the back entrance. And the old gym was turned into the present auditorium. In 1973, the 300 wing was added behind the northeast wing, again giving the students more classroom space. The next two photos show the back and front views of the current high school with the new energy efficient windows that were added in 1981. It also shows the difference between the roofing of the original main section of the school as compared to the more modern changes. In 1982, due to the need for more classroom, the district office was built adjacent to the high school, freeing up more space in the main building. In 1992, photo shows the entrance to Candor Central High School. The trees are still there, but the fence is gone, and the main entrance has been moved from the center of the building. Due to overcrowding in the main school, an elementary building was constructed in 1955 and consisted of a block of main offices. A small wing which consisted of a kitchen and a gymnasium. And two separate wings off of the office block, giving the elementary school a total of 15 classrooms. In 1957, four more classrooms were added. This photo taken in 1992 shows the new energy saving windows that were installed in 1981. In 1968, a new auditorium and new wing with nine more classrooms was constructed. The old gymnasium was converted to the present-day cafeteria auditorium. In 1982, several of the elementary teachers spearheaded a community project that saw a new modern playground built. These two photos show the main emphasis of that playground. Although designed by an architect, the people of the community, along with the school, band together and did the actual labor. A current aerial view of Candor Central School shows the accumulated growth through the years. The school is not finished growing yet. As the needs of the community change and grow, so too will the school. all the hopes and ambitions for the future which are characteristic of a young school. Words from the 1941-42 yearbook that hold just as much meaning today as it did yesterday and most likely will in the years to come. Music was provided by a 1961 Candor Central High School band concert entitled Musical Memories and the alma mater is courtesy of Kieran Peshota.